So somebody told me that this can actually be taken off. This is some type of Tesla cover. So I want to see if that's true. We just got this brand new Tesla Model Y and yes, they are covers. All right, I didn't know it would be that easy. I brought a knife and everything to pull this off. But with that being said, y'all, let me show you this brand new Tesla Model Y that we just got. It's the SUV, it's not the one with the Falcon doors. Uh, I don't really see a need for that. Uh, with the rental car space, because I think the Tesla Model X, the big one, it actually cost a lot more. And I don't want to spend that on no Tesla, I ain't gonna lie. So, we just wanted to get this Tesla Model Y just to go ahead and rent out. Because a lot of people been asking me for these Teslas to rent out, but I don't be having it. And I just left the bank as well, y'all. I just left Chase right there. This client literally gave me like $700 in all ones. But with that being said, welcome to the vlog. CEO of or i don't i don't even like to be called ceo anymore or br the ceo anymore so many everybody is using the ceo term as if it's just cool like people don't be ceos at all and still be talking about such and such the ceo so i kind of want to switch that up but yeah y'all we're about to go ahead and pop the trunk put this stuff in the car take pictures of this car go to the car wash i just went to the bank and i watched a podcast and stuff like that this morning um, I'm gonna just bring y'all on my day, show y'all what's going on, man. And I forgot to show y'all, this is what the wheels look like when you take the covers off. I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's, they still suck, but they better than those little covers. I ain't gonna lie. Let me know what y'all think about these. Should I turn them black or nah? I think I could actually wrap these. I don't know. I might try to wrap them before I spend money on just completely turning them black. So I just left the car wash and I mean I guess I, I I mean I guess the tires they cool the rims they cool but I think it I think it'll run out pretty good this car going for like two to three hundred dollars a day this, like I said it's a model Y it's cool and all that I, it's 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 a little it's a little money maker I already know people gonna want to rent these cars that's that's the whole reason that's the whole point of me getting this car y'all. And I do have a very big update. We're getting a warehouse very soon. Um, we we were already approved like what yesterday. All we have to do is just sign the lease. We will be signing the lease this week. And then that's gonna open up a lot of opportunities like in-person mentorship, masterminds, events, uh, a whole bunch of things that a lot of people aren't doing in the rental car space with their warehouse. Like a lot of people got warehouses, but I wouldn't say a lot of people, but people have warehouses and they're not really using it to like its fullest potential. Um, so we will definitely be breaking like the internet. We're gonna be breaking the whole rental car space, the coaching space just with this one warehouse because we can do a lot of in-person things and have a lot of things going on with this warehouse. So we're looking to close uh, or move in on the first of the month, which I think right now is like August 26, 27, 28, something like that. So we close on September. Oh, we move in on September 1st. And then, which is actually my birthday month. That's also crazy. It's my birthday month and we're getting a brand new warehouse and my birthday month. So y'all stay tuned for that. That's going to be major. That's when I'm really going to get into my YouTube bag because like right now we running this rental car company out of three apartments. Like we literally, I literally right now have like eight to nine cars in my apartment. My business partner got cars in his apartment and we got another apartment downtown that has a lot of our cars as well. So we've been running this business like you, you really have to think outside the box when it comes to storing these vehicles and some game for y'all. I recommend y'all get cool with like managers to like tire shops and stuff like that. That's what I did. I got cool with a manager at a tire shop and he let me store all of my vehicles there as well as get my business page set up, set up with him. So y'all should definitely, you know, think outside the box when it comes to storing these vehicles or just anything like marketing or whatever the case may be. You, you, you got to think outside the box with this rental car stuff, especially if you're not like enterprise hertz or you know uh, all these big avis you know avis the rental car company if you're not a big fortune 500 company it's gonna be very hard to market these cars so you got to think outside the box but if you pay attention to my marketing on my instagram at br the ceo you can kind of see that i give game I, I talk credit i talk basically i, I build my personal brand to the facts where people want to rent from me they don't care about 
going to enterprise they want to rent from me so i built my own audience and everybody come to me to rent out these cars so if y'all want to learn more about the rental car space just follow me on instagram at br to see y'all give it out for free all right so, so we had to pull up and look at this tire it's like all the wires and shit showing so we're in the middle we're in them trenches with it so once we get this tire fixed we're gonna go ahead and get this car rented out and see what this day brings us all right y'all so check this out we just got this car fixed it's a maserati levante so we just got this car in like it's a brand new car one of my students sent me this car he was like hey bro i want to rent this out so brand new maserati levante added to the fleet we just had to come get it we had to come get it like unlocked and stuff it had a whole bunch of battery issues but it's ready to go let me know what y'all think about that maserati levante with the red interior i heard maseratis are bad cars but we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see really what they talk about a lot of people say cars are bad maintenance they just don't take care of the car so that's why they be bad maintenance because when something happened to the car they be oh well it's a bad car and all that nah y'all just don't take care of the car so we just pulled up in the gle checking out this bmw i8 that lost power you trying to start it it's not let me try it, but it's not gonna start it's, it's not detecting them the keys the power dead huh yeah it been raining like crazy hold on y'all can't even see that there you go it's been raining like crazy so we're gonna have to get a tow truck and get it out of here and yeah i actually just checked on the um that motherfucker cooking you hear me Ooh. Mm. so yeah as y'all can see the battery is fried out i'm looking crazy as y'all can see the battery is fried out so we gotta get it towed and get that figured out get that situated but my head looking crazy all right y'all so we got the tow truck here and all that so basically we trying to figure out how this this battery as i showed y'all the battery was burnt so we're trying to figure out how it got burnt so the tow truck man right here he's basically telling us that somebody tried to jump the car and got the positive mi mixed with the negative on the jumper cables and it, it burnt it so we're gonna figure that out i'm gonna show y'all the whole process of us towing this car so y'all stay tuned this is what we got going on rental car shit This is the day in the life, y'all. Y'all wanna ride clean? This is what it come with. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. Look at this. Bro, he just he just came up that shit. Alright y'all, so we just got the uh, just got the car towed, so we about to go find some food and I'm about to piss on myself, so we gotta find somewhere where I gotta, yeah. Uh, man. Downtown with it. Uh, so we just pulled up to the airport. I had to gas this car up. We about to leave in that car. Damn, it's raining all over me. But yeah, as y'all can see, I wasn't able to wash this car. But whenever we can't wash the cars, we just be like, hey, we tell the client like, hey, you know, we couldn't wash the car. Obviously, it's raining. So y'all just gonna have to take it to the car wash. We'll send y'all twenty dollars. And we'll send y'all to the uh, the actual car wash spot that we use. But yeah, we did our, our, our pre-trip checkout and everything like that. I don't really show this car too much. I don't really drive it like that. But as y'all can see, it's an X4M. It got the red guts inside. M40i. But this is definitely one of my, you know, favorite cars on the on the fleet. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna catch up with y'all once we get to the airport all right y'all so right now we are headed to get the gle 53 from the shop and drop off this porsche macan s i'm not gonna lie this is probably one of my favorite i mean i don't know bro i, I be liking i be liking a lot of our cars but this porsche it's just like it performs so good 
like it's it's built strong is you can tell it's not like cheaply built um i see why porsches don't break i know porsches are known for like being track cars and stuff like that i see why because these cars are built so strong it's like nothing is really plastic everything is pretty much metal like all of this stuff is metal i mean this is like this is plastic i think this part is plastic right here but like the paddle shifters and everything else is just built like super strong you can tell the car is very great great quality but yeah like i was saying this is definitely one of my favorite cars on the fleet and we're about to go drop this off i'm about to pick up ab's and drop him off at the uh at the gle shop wherever it's at um usually we have our uh, plug doing everything for the low so we're about to go pick that car up and drop this one off at the dealership or not the dealership but the airport so i'll see y'all when we get to the airport All right, y'all, so we had to come put gas and do the pre-trip. Check out for this car, I'm about, I'm gonna put like $15, put like $15, that'll be cool, $15. If it go ahead and pump, but let me show y'all the car, what we got going on. Got the all red interior portion of kind. See what I'm saying? So we just about to drop this car at the, at the uh, airport. And then we actually wasn't able to pick up the GLE for whatever reason. I think they was closed because it's a holiday weekend. So we keep y'all updated with that. you was charging the car for uh i'll say like 20 minutes nah, probably 20 all right y'all so as you can see we just got them keys we in the amg and we just got keys to the warehouse i'm currently pulling out right now so we can go pick up this gle and yeah we about to start moving in we just got the keys to the new warehouse and this is the you know the next the next steps to the rental car business the next journey or the next chapter or whatever so yeah y'all let me go ahead and lock this gate right quick and as y'all can hear my voice i am a little sick but it is what it is as you can see we got the big old god damn shit heavy but as y'all can see we got the gate going on big old big old gate I ain't gonna lie. So this is the property where y'all will be coming out to in-person masterminds and everything like that. We're gonna be painting that wall, that whole wall black on the warehouse. As you can see, we in the GT. We got a football field in case y'all wanna get cooked. We got a basketball and tennis court right there in case y'all wanna get cooked in that. And then we're gonna put a basketball court over here so y'all can get cooked in, in, you know, basketball while learning a credit game and all that. Ooh. All right, y'all, so as you can see, this is the front whenever you walk into our brand new 7,000 square foot warehouse space. So we got, come on, come in, come in. We got to lock the gate. We don't, we don't want nobody trying to come in and see the motion. You know what I mean? Right. So as you come in, we got the whole, we got this whole lot right here. We got cars. We got the car wash going on. Y'all, come check it out. It's what a, this is what a seven-figure rental car company look like right we got the warehouse we got this came in yesterday we got two gle's we got the black truck let me show y'all some some stuff going on inside right like i said this property is approximately like seven thousand square foot but it's 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 real good because it's not just a warehouse it's like a it's like a play space for us and all of the team and everybody that's like here to really you know come support or like have fun and as you can see we got the whole where this is actually the warehouse is probably like 32,000 square foot right here and right now we have the c8 we got the gt we got the maserati levante and we got the x4 m bmw we got restrooms in the back i'm, I'm gonna give them a tour and we got a lot of stuff to work on so it's not like complete we're gonna paint this wall black uh 
Here's a guest restroom. We got like a storage room over there. And we just got the lights cut on too, so. They got motion sensor lights everywhere. Yeah, that's the storage room, it ain't nothing. Maserati right here, X4. We got the cameras. All right. I guess not. Hold on, let me. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, this shit dead. It's over. With. So we gotta replace those, I guess. And then we gotta clean this floor. Like we gotta, I guess. Oh. <coughs> I guess we gotta pressure wash this floor. And we got another restroom. In case I want to bring your girl, you know, in the shower, all of that, to the restroom, whatever the case may be. It's like, this restroom is ducked off, so I can bring y'all girl back here and all type of shit going on. Y'all got a little toothbrush right there in case y'all want to brush y'all nasty ass mouth. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the whole warehouse, as you can see. Now, it's a lot of people on the internet teaching this rental car shit, warehouse, whatever the case may be, but they don't have much to show. All right, so if you really want to lock in and, and learn how to run and start your own rental car business, tap in with me on Instagram at BRTCO. Hey, you face, All right, y'all, so we got the GLE going out. We got C8 in here. We got, you know, a few cars. We got a lot of cars that's out as well. As y'all can see, I'm sweating. It's a day in the life of a real rental car business, not none of these cap ass people that's be on the internet. Uh, we got this car, this GLE going out. We got the Tahoe going out. C300, that's going to the dealership. So, yeah, y'all, we getting it going. As y'all can see, y'all can always pull up to the shop, rent your cars, or whatever the case may be see what's going on we're doing a lot of mentorships and everything in here and in, in person masterminds literally anything anything like it's this is a play warehouse playhouse penthouse whatever all that all right y'all so we're just moving the cars right now i gotta basically get them out of the shop and rearrange them we gonna kind of look come here we got the c8 we got the x4 just came back Very good X4M that just came back in right now. And then that's good, nigga. You gotta be. <laughs> and then we got <laughs> we got the GT, we got the GLE. The white, the white GLE just went out. Uh, we was just watching that. Y'all seen on the vlog? We was watching that. Um, but basically, we just gonna angle all of the cars like this, like basically how that GLE is. We're gonna rearrange these cars and angle them because y'all know we just moved in here so i'm kind of just trying to get used to seeing how we gonna run things over here so yeah we had to move those cars out right quick and i'm gonna show y'all the finished product whenever we get done That nigga say. <laughs> uh. That nigga What y'all think down in the comments of what y'all think about this warehouse would this be like a warehouse that y'all would pull up to and do y'all's content i know a lot of my students be pulling up doing their content and everything look at the view look at the view you got the gle we got the the gt the c8 
X4, another X4. This, this one, I don't know if this is a comp. I don't, I don't think this is a comp, but it got the red buttons and it's an X4M. And the white one is an X4M too, but it don't have a red buttons on it. So I, I don't really know, but this, this blue one is definitely fast. It's way faster than the white one, but I don't know. That's it. Let me see what you what you thinking about it. What rated? Rated one to ten. Be honest. Honestly, like, did you? Is this what you was expecting? Nah, it's way better than I was expecting for sure. For real? Yeah. I give it just cause I know y'all finna do renovations. I give it an eight point five. All right, all right. So yeah, y'all. As y'all can see, since I moved the cars, we moved them like this. This is what we decided to do. Uh, I don't know if we can fit some more over here. I'm sure we can if we get more cars and we need to put more over here. But as of right now, it's going to be kind of blank. But yeah, it's plenty of space we can fit. Oh, it's already five cars right here. So I say six. So 12 cars can fit in here. Because we moved them to the side. Like at first they was like, like just this. They was just boom. And then we kind of staggered them a little bit. So now that they staggered, we can fit more. Remember, it was only like five i think five could only fit in here but she's not all stupid as shit <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah this one let me see get that mug <laughs> hit it and it's scared y'all but yeah y'all we about to uh rent out this gle the white i had the white gle go out earlier and yeah is that hell he got going on <laughs> He over here twerking and shit. But yeah, y'all, jelly. 
This one hard, I ain't gonna lie. But I do like the white one better. Which one you like, the the white GLE or the or the black one? You like the black one better? I the like the white. So the the white one got red interior too. But the black with the red. Yeah, yeah. This GLE goes stupid. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you doing all that shit talking? Come recording. Man, I'm laughing at that. You way back there recording. Corn ass. <laughs> Ugly, nigga. Look down, nigga. Big cheese, man. <laughs> it's like, look at oh, there you go. It's better since I wiped it. Don't look at me, look at him. <laughs> Nigga snapping it up, ain't he? <laughs> Alright. Come out. Yeah. Look. <laughs> <laughs> You, you think you run longer than me? <laughs> I'll tell you I run longer than you, nigga. No, you, bro. <laughs> Jared. Do this nigga not know I was a 400, like, what? I was a 400 champion. Nigga. Pick your shirt up. <laughs> you, nigga, come on, bro. Don't let, don't let the stuff. With his little ass, uh, 22 on his hip. <laughs> he got a 22 on his hip. Somebody he can run farther than me. That nigga crazy. Uh. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, the GLE pulling out, man. Yeah, hey, shit, shit really coming together, man. Sure, bro, today we already lie. pushed out two cars straight from the web. Actually, yeah, two cars, but we did some pickups as well. You know what I mean? So make sure y'all like and subscribe, bro. Y'all definitely got to subscribe, shit. man. Sure. Y'all can see the GLE pulling out. Yeah. Let me show y'all what we got going on here. So I'm gonna probably take that, that Tahoe later tonight to drive but yeah like i literally drive whatever car is available whatever car people be like what car do you drive every day uh shit i really drive whatever whatever that's available but i want to drive that but it's like a little too small so i'm gonna either drive this or this white uh bmw tonight so ab said he taking that so i'm gonna show y'all how we do our lock up process we gotta lock all the doors and stuff like that because we closing shop today it's currently it's currently 510 right now, so yeah, we just gotta sell. The keys to the GT. Alright. Uh alright y'all. So we getting locked up today, man. That's a wrap for the day. We're gonna go ahead and lock them gates right here. And we probably gonna bring some more cars here tonight, like the Tesla. We got the BMW i8. We got two i8s. Um and we're gonna be late night transporting these cars while cuz over here yelling at us and shit from the sidewalk and all that but yeah y'all that's a wrap for today i'll see y'all tomorrow what's good youtube what's going on back another day at the ceo headquarters and today we got the we got cuz that in there chilling and shit he think he think he in a movie theater and shit and then we got the the tahoe going out we got baby ceo in the cut baby ceo <laughs> So yeah, y'all, we just washed up the uh, the Tahoe truck. We got the BMW uh, X4M going out. And then, as you can see, we just opened shop. We just got here. I'm gonna wash the C8, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably take that today. Um, and then these are the cars that are, that are currently in here. We got a lot more cars, y'all. I mean, obviously they're always rented. So it may seem a little empty, which is good, because these cars are out right now um and then a lot of cars are going to be going out during the weekend a lot of these cars are weekend cars so that's probably why um it may seem like these cars are aren't really pushing well obviously they are person since it's empty but usually we have like a full a full we would have a full warehouse if it wasn't i don't know bro i guess we've been just marketing our cars good but usually this warehouse is full well not this warehouse because we just got it obviously but like 
our parking lot and stuff like that is always pretty much full for the most part but now that we have this warehouse we can kind of see like what cars are here it's a lot more organized look at this dude it's a lot more organized when it comes to you know checking what cars are here what cars are going out what cars you know need to be pushed what cars been sitting for a long time but yeah y'all we now have a warehouse i ain't gonna lie this this shit feels amazing when it have when we have a warehouse like it's just a completely different ball game legit company solid like really got a real company it's crazy to me as you can see we got the gates out front security gates we got security all around cameras all around stuff like that so yeah y'all y'all stay tuned i don't know what we will be getting into today but i got some people coming over that never seen the warehouse so i guess we'll get their reaction and see what they think all right so right now i'm about to go ahead and start all of these cars make sure that they're all running because if you leave these cars sitting for too long not this battery but for like cars like this you have to keep them running or like run them every single day just let them sit there and run simply because the batteries will die and say if a client came to rent the car we're gonna have to jump it and all of that like we're gonna have to start it up and it's gonna be a whole process so we'll go ahead and let these cars sit here and run for a little bit this is one of my favorite cars i ain't gonna lie this bmw shit fast too me. All right, y'all. So we just had to come and get a brand new tire on this BMW i8. As you can see, it got a couple leaks and stuff on it. There go the new tire. They about to get the new tire put on right here. Let me know what y'all think about this BMW i8. We really don't rent this car out. It be chilling, really. But for the most part, we definitely got to get those tires changed, and that's what they about to get into right now. So we just made it back to the warehouse with the i8. As y'all can see, the tires are good. Let me show y'all the other side. The tires are good, y'all. So right now, basically all we doing is just moving all of these cars to the warehouse. It's gonna be a major process just getting these cars here because we have... What the hell are you doing? Damn. That nigga shit just jerk. But uh, it's gonna be a major process of us moving all of these cars in here simply because we have so many cars and we're going from like apartments straight to this warehouse. So we have like over 25 cars. So if y'all could think like how many cars that actually is to be moving in here. So yeah, y'all, the process is, is, I mean, it's all coming together. As you can see, we got a few cars in here, but a lot of these cars are already out. So, yeah, y'all, this, I ain't gonna lie, this is crazy. Gotta cut the light on. Got lights and everything. I wanna put some LED lights up here so it can be like very bright, you know, when people come here and do content and everything else. But I'll catch up with y'all whenever I get onto the next play. All right, y'all, so it's a couple days later and we are on the way. As you can see, we're on the way to go drop off this Audi Q8 uh drop it off to our clients delivery location and as you can see it's like 34 minutes away at first when we first started driving it was like 50 minutes away but we've been driving for a minute now but hey this is what we got to do um we got to deliver the car i got like i got the tahoe going out today i got the e350 going out to get today i got the maserati coming back today um and I think that's pretty much it. And we also had the black GLE. And I got my brother right there in the uh, in the GLE, in the white GLE. But the black GLE did get delivered to the airport today. So um, we just had to watch this QA today. And let's see where this day brings us. I don't pick up the camera every day. I don't pick it up every day. Simply because we really be busy, y'all. Like, it, it'd be a lot of... It'd be a lot of moving around in a rental car space, but um, it's very much worth it, especially because we get to drive whatever car we want with only like two to three hours a day. So we only work like two to three hours a day with these cars, which is good. And we can drive any car we want as well as build the right connections with these type of clients because these are high-end clients. These aren't like economy level clients to where they're renting out like Nissans and stuff like that, which is no problem with that. Those make money too. But as far as like the business perspective of it, 
we get a lot of clients that's really gonna come in and you know spend money and, and we can actually lock in with them on like different business things they can put us on game we can put them on game they buy our mentorships whatever the case may be um but yeah it's it's definitely well worth it to get into the rental car space i personally like the luxury cars because you get a better type of clientele with those economy cars it it'd it be whatever like people be stealing your cars people do it like they'll steal these luxury cars but it's more easy to to vet a client for a luxury car than it is for an economy car because economy car you can't tell whether a person can afford something or not um with the luxury cars all you say is hey the deposit is a thousand dollars and that's how you really weed out the people that's not really serious for the economy car it's like 250 for the uh safety deposit but i mean you can really tell if a person really can you know make these payments or you know actually afford the car to rent out for you know a day so usually what they'll do is they'll rent it for a day and then they'll be like okay i'll extend the car they'll extend the car for another day but won't send the payment or oh, they'll extend like they'll they'll rent the car for one day and keep it for two days without making a payment so if we trust the people we won't kill switch the car but if we don't know you we're going to kill switch the car like if we know you're going to make this payment because you've rented with us like previously you good um just make sure you make that payment but yeah if if they don't pay we can really just cut the cars off um and that's that's the main thing in this rental car space like uh with the luxury cars it's it's a lot easier to really weed out the people who really not not with taking care of the cars or like not with making payments and stuff like that like i had a client that's in my uh one of my cars right now and she didn't pay for like four days but she ended up sending the payment um i was like hey i'm gonna have to cut the car off if, if y'all don't make the payment she sent the payment right then and there i guess they just didn't have time or just kept forgetting or whatever the case may be but at the <coughs> at the end of the day um these clients pretty much get these cars paid um and then to rent out these luxury cars and actually make the car note you only got to rent a car out for like five six days out of the month and the car note and insurance is paid that's why i do also like this luxury game because it's harder to rent a car out but when it's out it's the car note is getting paid so um anything after that is pretty much profit easily so that's pretty much how we run the business that's the business model that we pretty much like um but yeah y'all stay tuned we about to deliver this car as you can see stuck in houston traffic um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this car delivered and i'll catch up with y'all in a little bit all right y'all so as y'all can see we at the warehouse getting cars moved around we got the q8 we got the i we got the y'all yeah yeah y'all already know what's going on with that that's that car is not for rent but um that's my daily if you're new to the channel y'all already know well y'all don't know but now y'all know that's my daily you know what i'm saying that's that yeah so we got the tracky um we got the e350 we got the gt the c8 the blue um bmw x4m this is probably the besides the track hawk this is the fastest car in here all of them no nah, not all of them the one's outside right now. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, we're going to be back soon. Um, and then we got the the Model Y, the other X4M. These both the X4Ms, but I think that's a 40i, and that's just the M. That's definitely the second fastest car in here besides the Trackhawk. But on the fleet, this is the fastest car, and it's crazy. This is a 2020. But let me show y'all what we got going on outside. So we just moving cars. We're about to go take a client in the... Um, well, we're about to go pick up a client in the Tahoe so yeah we're about to keep y'all updated we got the gle the gle 43 or 53 this is a 53 got the red interior ah ready let me show y'all the fit right quick oh ski this is what i this is what i come to work in you feel me i come to work like this and then we got the two two economies we got the tahoe we got the porsche porsche macan you gonna watch that again yes bro. the dust bro that shit crazy yeah that's why i was saying we gotta we, we gotta pressure back. wash all of that in here so we can actually keep the cars in here while they're washed because yeah. the floor is like it's super super dusty it's too dusty so we gotta 
pressure wash this whole inside and once we pressure wash this we could go ahead and keep the cars in here washed like right now these cars are not washed they straight dirty so i'm gonna keep y'all updated on what's going on and i'll see y'all at the airport so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here as y'all can see i'm going home with the c8 yesterday i had the the porsche macan s we got those two economies right there and then i'm gonna show y'all what else we got before i go ahead and wrap it up so i think i think i already showed y'all these when they was put in here we got the macan we got the q8 but we got a few other cars in the back and also an update on the warehouse right so y'all do know i got the warehouse in the beginning of september it's still september kind of like the end of september y'all can see we started painting this wall we started painting this uh room right here this is basically like the office this office right here we're gonna be painting it all black as y'all can see we started painting it but um yeah that's basically it that's the end of this vlog and if y'all don't know me already i'm br the ceo i own a rental car company a funding company credit repair company and this is what i do i take i take my credit and any cash that i get or any money that i get liquid and i invest it into my rental car company because i just like the brick and mortar business of having a rental car company and being able to leverage my rental car company to run my ads for credit repair or run my ads for whatever it just it's just the lifestyle that i that i get to put on that way i can help push my other businesses if that makes sense push my other credit businesses as well as my personal brand so if y'all haven't already go ahead and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next vlog